Hello, today we're going to be going over a software that Paul Daniels created for me. He was kind enough to take the project on, was able to fund it. It's meter software for the BK right here. This one I recently purchased. I had the other one. I still rock all the time, but I don't use it anymore now, but as much. But yeah, I purchased this one. This is the BK. So I purchased this one for 1500 right around there the price for it and I wanted the bench power supply that was able to you know I liked the other VK meter it served me good it's just it's battery operated I wanted a bench meter Paul Daniels created a software that I'm able to switch access into the meter and not use the factory software and the software allows me to you know display it on open broadcaster and on my screen on my computer and able to switch between the hot keys change the colors the software that it comes you know you can get for it for this meter it it sucks this is very fast response time also what he did in the software he was able to because for some reason this meter in diode mode it'll beep you know at like 500 or something if you're doing a reading in it in dialogue mode plus you have to do if i want to switch i have to hit this button then hit diode then i'm in dial mode right so if i grab my leads over here see it doesn't beep beep off beep on see it doesn't beep now if i take a board here so here we're getting a reading right no beeping are we coming over here beeping like i want to hear beeping noise all the time i don't know what's up with that but you see here's ground and not ground and it beeps how annoying is that so he was able to create the software i'll pull that up real quick because i'm not going to use their if i use the factory software you can't kick it out so once it communicates with the meter it's it basically you're the only way you're going to be able to get out of this is if you shut it off and you know reboot it so if we go up here i got paul daniel software up here so him actually making it easy so you could just click on it not run commands or anything like that or change anything you just click on the bk right here and there it goes Communicate with the meter. Very fast response time. And then if we go back here, so you can see we have this program running right here. And so we're in DC. I'm going to do hotkey shift option and D for dial mode. Now, if we back here on the on this, we're testing this. See, that's ground, right? I test another one; it's not beeping, and we're getting our reading there. See, we're getting our reading. Now we come back here on ground. I can get the ground. I mean, look how fast that response time is, too. And dialed reading. Yeah, you remember the, their software, the actual meter, when you run the software, it beeps in this mode right here. But if you're touching ground, it won't beep. So... Paul Daniels actually fixed that. That works right. Awesome. That's one of my main things, you know, just like the other uh, BK meter. Test different versions and stuff like that, but he did a lot of hard work on it. I appreciate what he's done. Helps me out a lot, you know, especially having the meter like this. And it's a big digit meter. I really appreciate him creating the software. I asked him kindly if he could open source the project 
and make it available for other people. So if they decide they want to get this meter. Now with the meter, I want to say there's a version like this that's not so much. It's like, I think it's the same version, but it's like a thousand dollars, something like that. And that's all you need because this one has a card in it. And I tried the adapter going into the PC with their software. Oh, it was unusable. It just kept crashing and crashing. You know, it just crashed all the time. Buying the one with the card built into it, it's not worth it. Get the other model if you're thinking about getting a good meter like this. But yeah, look at the response time when it's connected. And another plus with the software, which is cool, you know, switching between all your modes. You know, if I want to switch between capacity, if I want to do a capacity test, there we go. There you go, continuity mode. Resistance, I mean, he killed it with the software. It's awesome. Especially be able to switch with the hotkeys and not mess with the meter. Now, another thing, we're gonna go, I'm gonna exit out of the program and I'm just gonna hit Q for exiting. So you'll see, I hit Q, there it goes. It stopped the communication with the device and I'm able to use the buttons and use the interface. Now, how awesome software that is. Using his software, I'm able to use the dialed reading how I want it and change the color, font, whatever I want to do with the stuff. I'm hoping to maybe have him, I could fund him, do a project of where it could take data logging and log the readings in dialed mode or continuity and voltage, you know, DC and take the readings and I could log it for like chips, you know, so you have like a 20 pin, uh, 20 pin package file, you know, or like you wanna, from pin one, I don't know how many are here. What do you think, 10, 20, 20 pin, pins there? So you'd be able to go down and log it. And you could do that with the BK software on it but if we run the bk software and i try closing that out after closing running this program trying to close it out you have to restart the device if you want to use the interface the front interface which that was kind of tricky paul figured out and that's cool dude's a genius and he didn't have this he didn't have he didn't have this uh, meter in front of him he did this all just back and forth uh, having communication with each other. So give them props. I don't know how you do that, but. So I'm gonna run their software. So here's their software. So we have to go to this selection here. We have to select the port. I think it's COM5. Press okay. Then we have to go over here and we have to con hit connect. Then we have to come over here and we have to search for what we want. I want diode mode. Okay, we got dial mode. Then you have to hit set. And there you go, you're connected, right? Now you have to go over here. And it's not gonna show you the real readings. It's not gonna show you on the meter. It's not gonna show you nothing live until you hit to either hit run so we could do like five seconds let's just do three seconds we hit run one two three see there it's going to take readings every three seconds and i come to find their, their software not to be accurate sometimes it's kind of strange but yeah, see, I'm off of them now. So it's just gonna keep logging it. And then if you wanna create like a, a spreadsheet, like a notepad, you have to go over here, primary readings, right? And just say if we do a trigger, see we do a trigger right now. That's the reading what we're getting. And I got nothing on the probes. And see the reading up here, it's kind of giving it some weird, I don't know, it's just weird. 
we have to set all the stuff manually. Then we go over here, we're going to touch these together. We'll hit trigger. There we go, we triggered it. So basically we're sh shorting out the probes. You know, hit trigger again. It'd be nice if I had a foot pedal, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is a nice feature for data logging. I mean, I, that's the only reason I would use this software right here is like data logging an actual like memory chip for the PlayStation 5s or something like that, you know, like to get all the readings. So then I have, you know, a spreadsheet or, and see now if I go down here with the meter, see it's frozen. See? It's remote mode. So, and you can't kick it out no matter what. I haven't figured out how to kick it out. Power it back off. Just what a pain, right? With Paul Daniels software he created, you could just uh, exit the program no problem. You don't have to restart the device where you can't use it, the interface if you wanted to use the interface. Use the actual meter. You can't even do that with the, the factory software. I mean, just it's crazy. So I'll run Paul Daniels software. There we go. And I can just shift, use commands on the keyboard, switch what up between what I want. Just awesome software. So yeah, just a shout out to Paul Daniels. Thanks for creating the software and taking the time to take the project on. He's got the project. I'll leave a link in the description to his GitHub. It's open sourced. I asked him kindly to open source the project. And so it's on the GitHub so you, everybody could use it. If you decide you want to get one of these BK bench meters, then you have the software you could use for it free of charge. And hopefully maybe I could get them to fund a data logging because that would become real handy in for like the game consoles instead of writing down or typing in numbers, add that in as a feature. I wouldn't mind funding that project. But yeah, if you guys want to check out the link in the description where you can get this, download this if you have a BK meter. Also PayPal link that you could donate if you decide to buy him a coffee but i hope you guys like the video if you guys get a chance give this video a thumbs up also if you guys haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button as always thanks for watching